Hi, welcome to Central Park. My name is Ian and I work for the Central Park Conservancy. What we do is keep the park clean and green throughout the year. Now, I know many of you can't make it to Central Park right now. So what we're going to do is bring the park to you through a series of discovery activities. In each of these activities, we're going to ask ourselves a question. And today we're asking the question, what animals can you find in Central Park? You won't need any materials for this activity. I'm just going to play some animal noises throughout the presentation, and we'll try to guess which animal makes each noise. So when you're in a city, you usually do hear a lot of noises, but it, instead of animals, they are usually from cars or trains or buses. Whatever you hear, it's usually very loud. And that's what makes Central Park so special because just a few steps into this green oasis, you begin to feel a bit more distanced from those city noises and they're replaced with new noises. And we're going to listen to the uh, animal noises specifically. So there's a lot of wildlife in Central Park and it's always good to appreciate wildlife from a distance. And that's one good reason to learn the different calls animals make um, because you can actually identify them from quite a distance away. And animals make different noises or vocalizations for a number of reasons. Um, some big ones could be uh, warning others about predators or maybe signaling food or marking one's territory. So let's jump right in and learn about a few of the animals that you can find in Central Park. I wanted to start with birds here. It's one of the noises that you're almost guaranteed to hear uh, in Central Park, the chirping of birds. Um, there are a lot of birds in Central Park. Actually, there's been over 270 different species recorded and I've picked out just a few of the more common birds here. So this is where the game begins. I'm going to um, play a few different noises, but I've mixed up the order. So what you'll have to do is guess which animal makes each noise. I'm gonna play each noise just once, but you can always pause the video and rewind if you'd like to hear each noise a few times. So here is the first one. This one was a very loud squawk. You might have heard it before. Any guesses? All right, if you guessed the blue jay over here on the right, you are correct. Uh, it's a bird that is present in Central Park throughout the year. It makes a number of different vocalizations, but this squawk is one that you'll hear very often. It's usually um, very loud. So now it's time to play the second noise. So that noise, it's usually described as a cooing. Any guesses which one made it, made this noise? All right, if you guessed the morning dove over on the left, you are correct. Um, the sound might um, be familiar because it's similar to um, one made by pigeons and doves and pigeons are actually of the same family. So they're very closely related. And you can probably guess which bird made this last noise, but I'm going to play it now. All right, so this noise was made by a red-winged blackbird, a male one specifically. And this call, um, if you live in New York at least, is a very good sign um, of spring because this migratory bird is one of the first wants to arrive in New York at the end of winter, early spring, um, yeah, marking the new season. So for the next slide, we have more birds. I separated these birds into a new slide because they are larger birds and they're considered birds of prey because of what they eat, which is mostly, it depends on which one, but uh, rodents, um, fish, and sometimes even, even uh, other birds. So once again, I'm gonna play the sound once and you can guess which bird makes each noise. So here is the first one. Did you hear that? It's a very loud screech. And this comes from, any guesses? 
If you said the red-tailed hawk over here on the left, you are correct. It's a very common hawk in New York City. Uh, they usually perch up in tall trees in the park and sometimes even on the sides of buildings that surround the park. All right, I'm going to play the second noise now. All right, take your guess. If you said the bald eagle over here on the right, you are correct. Now, I've never seen a bald eagle in Central Park, but I've seen it flying high above. Um, they're usually closer to the Hudson River to the west. And actually, there was a bald eagle spotted in Riverside Park in Manhattan earlier this year. And last but not least, So this noise was made by the peregrine falcon here. It's a really beautiful bird, as you can see. And it's actually one of the fastest birds uh, in the world. They can reach speeds close to 70 miles per hour. And believe it or not, it's something that you can find around New York City. All right, and last but not least, we have some animals that are not birds. Yeah, so there are other animals in Central Park. Um, and I've picked out just a few mammals here. Um, I'll play the sounds now, and I'll, then I'll tell you a bit about each one. All right, any guesses uh, which animal made this noise? Maybe you've heard it before. It comes from probably the most common animal in Central Park, and that is the Eastern Gray Squirrel. Um, it uh, makes a lot of different vocalizations. It has quite a range, but this is a common one. You might hear a kind of like a squawking sound. All right, here's the second noise. All right, any guesses? Okay, the animal that made that noise was a raccoon. So we do have raccoons in Central Park. They're usually more active at night. Um, they'll eat things like berries or insects. And we try to prevent this, but sometimes um, raccoons will try to eat garbage, um, which we do not want. Um, and last but not least, you can probably guess this sound will come from the little brown bat over here, but I'll play it now. It's one of the most bizarre sounds um, I'll play in this presentation. So it almost, it almost to me sounds like um, like the noise of a drum or something, but yeah, it comes from this little brown bat, that's the name of the species, and you will find bats in Central Park, usually in the warmer months, so between May and November, they hibernate in the winter. Um, and like the raccoons, um, they are usually more active uh, at night. All right, so it was a short presentation. I just wanted to highlight a few of the animals um, you might see in the park, but there are many more. And I hope that this inspires you to keep an ear out, um, even uh, the next time you visit the park or in your own neighborhood. Actually, just this morning, um, from inside my apartment, I was able to hear the cooing of a morning dove. So if you live like in a city um, like myself, you might think that there isn't wildlife around. Um, but there are magnificent creatures like the um, peregrine falcon or the red-winged blackbird that you can find um, very close to you. So just keep an ear out the next time you go out because you never know what you're going to hear. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this short activity. And if you um, are interested in finding more fun activities to do, you can visit our website um, at centralparknyc.org slash mycentralpark. And we have games like word scrambles and coloring pages. So thanks very much for participating and we will see you next week. Thanks.